The city of Thunder Bay has already issued over $75 million in construction permits for 2015, but that number could rise to as high as $105 million before the end of the year. Well, I think uh, it's healthy. I think people are investing in Thunder Bay. Uh, projects are moving forward. And um, like I said, I think construction activity should be maintained uh, similar to last year. Des Stoles is the city's chief building official. He says that number is consistent with historic trends, but it's much less than a recent three-year boom in construction. In 2011, construction permits were valued at $230 million. In 2012, that number was $216 million. 2013 saw $211 million in permits being issued, but that number dipped to $104 million in 2014. This year's projected figure is expected to be between $100 and $105 million. Stoll says the drastic dip between 2013 and 2014 is due to several larger projects being completed. 2012 and 2013 were record years, roughly, for construction value. Some of the major projects, I think, attributed to the, the higher values. Uh, the courthouse, for example. Stoles identifies five major projects as being drivers this year. On the city's north side, St. Joseph's Hospital has started work on a new mental health wing valued at $52 million. On Balmoral Street, Balmoral Park Acura has started the expansion of its dealership and the Terra Vista development on Beverly Street has been issued a permit for a six-unit townhouse complex. The hotel project on Arthur Street is also underway, which will become a five-story Hampton Inn. And the Thunder Center has started work on an expansion to the building currently holding Toys R Us and Party City. That's expected to become a Gap store. Stoles adds that there are also other big projects on the horizon which are planned but are still waiting on permits. Of course, the Delta Hotel on the waterfront that's, uh, we hope to issue that, before, I think they're going to start in September, so we hope to issue that uh, this summer or soon. Xiao Li Li, 